Today we're going to be changing out the rear differential fluid in an FDRX7. Seriously, I just had it! The tools you'll need to complete this project are a catch can, two quarts of gear oil, a length of hose to get the gear oil into the rear diff, a means of cutting the cap on the gear oil, a ratchet, a torque wrench, a 23 and 24 millimeter socket, a three inch extension. I used gloves so that I can keep my hands clean. And of course, some brake clean to clean things off whenever you're all said and done. You can also use tub of towels. These things are great. And some paper towels just to clean things up. We have the car lifted up and on jack stands. And from the underside, you'll reach up using a 23 millimeter and a three inch extension. And I always like to break the top side loose first, just to make sure I can get that guy out of the road. And that way you're not fighting with it whenever you're draining out the fluid later on. And it'll just save you a little bit of a mess. Obviously I have a catch pan underneath this guy. So I'm just gonna remove the upper plug and set it aside. Then I'm going to take a 24 millimeter, for whatever reason, these are two different sizes. Break the bottom side loose. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you don't lose the crush washer. And just let the gear oil drain out. Looking at the oil that's coming out, it is kind of dirty, but it's not silvery, which is good. You just kind of take it and do one of these. It is pretty, pretty clear, not too bad. While I have the rest of the fluid draining out, I just want to take my drain plug here and it has a little magnetic tip in the end of it, and you want to clear off any metal shavings that have gathered on there, just so that you're not putting that metal and those little particulates back into the rear end whenever you go to put things back together. So just make sure this guy's really nice and clean before you go and put it back in. The factory service manual calls for SAE 90 if you're above zero degrees Fahrenheit and SAE 80 if you're running it below zero degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not going to be running mine in the winter time, so I'm using SAE 80W90 gear oil. It's Valvoline. What I do is I just take the top and I snip off the top with a razor blade and then I take a silicone hose and I put it over top and what I do is I just make sure I leave this little lip here so that whenever I stretch the hose over top, it kind of grips it and prevents it from, you know, splashing out everywhere whenever you go to fill things back up. It does call for 1.38 quarts to top things back off once we're ready to fill it back up. Now that it's done draining out, we're just going to take and make sure the surface is very clean where the crush washer is going to go back together. And we are going to reinstall our lower drain plug. And these get torqued 29 to 39 foot-pounds. Next, we're going to take our silicone tube, put it into the fill hole, and just get the bottle up above the hole and just start squeezing the bottle so that the gear oil starts filling up the differential. One of the things I like to do is to bring the bottle back down and just kind of let some air get back into the bottle and then lift it back up and start squeezing again just to make things a little bit easier. Once you get to the end of your bottle, it'll make a gurgling sound. There we go. And then you just pull this guy out. And then we're going to switch the cap over to the new bottle so that we can start the process over again and get this guy topped off. Here we are on bottle number two. You want to keep in mind this only takes 1.38 quarts. So once you reach the halfway point, of your quart will start to spill out of the fill hole. And that's how you know that it's filled. And then you just take your plug, put it back in, same thing, it gets tightened to 29 to 39 foot-pounds, so we'll snug that guy up, and then we'll clean up all the residuals from around here. Just make sure it's nice and clean so that you, if you do have any leaks, you'll be able to see it and you know you won't confuse it with stuff that was spilling over whenever you did the, the fluid change. Okay, now that we're torqued down, again, just gonna tidy this guy up, clean things up. You can use some brake cleaner or whatever. I just use these uh, tubble towel rags. They work great for a ton of stuff. So just gonna get everything cleaned up. And that way, if we do have a leak, we'll be able to see where it's coming from. And there you have it. We're all done. So that's a wrap on changing out the gear oil and the rear diff. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.